Preseason practices have been more intense this season than we've ever had here. And partly because the players are really competing for playing time and starting positions. So we have a number of players who are competing for lots of minutes on the court when we start game play, and that's made it very competitive in the preseason. Our returning players are very talented and experienced. Uh, they are well seasoned, they got to play a lot of minutes last year, and that's a great thing. Um, but they are not satisfied with where they finished last season. So that helps our newcomers to kind of come into the program, understand what the goal is for our team, and that our whole team wants to win a championship. Um, so that helps them kind of get uh, acclimated to our team philosophy, our team goals, and then ultimately gets them on the court playing hard to accomplish those goals. Jasmine Wigfall has been here uh, for four seasons. This is her fourth season with us. Um, now she's a seasoned veteran on our team. She's won a championship in the league. She wants to win a national championship, and she's driven to succeed. Jasmine can do a lot of great things in our program, and she's been one of those players that we've looked to because she's a senior to really bring along the underclassmen that are at her position and really kind of get them uh, acclimated to our team and what our goals are. When we brought Katie Bobas into our program, we knew she was a very talented player coming out of high school. And so she really came in to work when she got here. She's a very determined, uh, perfectionist type of player in her schoolwork, in her uh, daily life, and of course on the basketball court. So that drive and determination has really helped her excel at this level. Tony Brewer, another player on our team who's a sophomore this year, was a freshman of the year in the GSC last year as a freshman. Tony's worked very diligently in the offseason on her left hand. She's working on making counter moves in the paint. Uh, but this year, I expect a lot more out of Tony. Her outside shot is looking better. She's got better post moves inside. And we're really looking for her to have just an outstanding year this year. Kelly Preston has been a player who actually is starting her third season with us. Last year, she stepped in and was leading the country in field goal percentage when she had a knee injury that took her out for most of the season. Um, so this year, we're looking for Kelly to, number one, stay healthy, and then number two, really be a dominating force in the paint for us. We're really excited about our depth uh, this year with our team. We've got nine players that are really pushing for maximum playing time and potential starting positions. Uh, in that rotation is Courtney Meyer, who received um, the Freshman of the Week honors multiple times last year as a freshman on our squad. We've got Anissa Watson and Alex Coyne, who are Division I transfers, who bring just an, a, a load of experience um, and talent to our team, and we expect great things out of them. And then we have Kyla Muhammad in that rotation, too, who's a Pensacola native. Um, this is her senior season, and she wants this to be the best season that she can have. Um, so those are kind of the, the ones that are a little bit more seasoned on our team that are coming off the bench. But I do want to mention our freshman group as well with Katie O'Neill, Neil, Bell Bistro, and Wanisha Young. Those kids round out that uh, level of play for us. And uh, Katie O'Neill and Bell Bistro are sharpshooters from the three point area. We've got Wanisha Young, who is actually a tall uh, shot blocking post player inside. And they're going to bring some really good playing um, for us. We just got to get them a little bit more seasoned at this Division II level. I like our schedule because we're going to compete heavily right out the gate. We're going to see exactly how our team is going to react and how they measure up to some top teams in the, in the country. So we're going to see exactly where we stand from that first weekend on the jump ball. Um, but you know, we only play four non-conference games, so our conference schedule is very heavy with very talented teams. We are looking to have a great season. We know that it's not where we start the season, but it's actually where we finish that counts. And we've got a long time between now and the end of March to accomplish those goals that our team has.